Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. This time, this special day, this unique day, as I share your word, use me as a vessel, O oh God, to put this message across, Lord, and bless your people. And as you bless them, do not forget me, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. My name is Florence Minor, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrate your moment to enjoy this beautiful day. I count it a special and unique day, and I'm sharing it later than other days. Because... I was persuaded by the Spirit of God to give a snapshot on yesterday, July 4th. I also count it a unique day because it's the 5th of July. And number 5, Silverai says the favor of God, the grace of God, the unmerited favor. What you do not deserve, but you get it anyway. Just like I do not deserve to give this message, but by the grace of God, I am here giving it. I watched several documentaries yesterday about July 4th, and it is amazing. There is a lot of good information. I'm not used to reading, but I had to combine it together and summarize, and I'm going to read as it is. Yesterday was a very special day for me as I particularly woke up with such a deep motivation to know in details the meaning of July 4th. Of course, by now, you can tell I was not born in America, but I am here on a very defined assignment at such a time as this. As a citizen, I studied for the test about America, but yesterday was another day altogether to read word by word. I watched several documentaries, but this one, I felt so persuaded in my heart to share it on this me media platform God has graciously given to me. James Madison conceived the three branches of government by inspiration from Isaiah 33, verse 22. The reference of the documentary I'm referring to is letter Easy Holmes Number four, letter U. Timing point to be precise because it's a wrong word. Is the two minutes and nine seconds. For the Lord is our judge, judicial in parenthesis. The Lord is our lawgiver, registrative in parenthesis. The Lord is our king, executive in parenthesis. He will save us. And I'll read exactly that, what it says from the word of God because the word of God is powerful. Isaiah 33, verse 22. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. He will save us. The title of my message will be Restoration for America. And what is to restore? To restore is bring back a state which was at some point good and at some point on the way, along the way, it became distorted. America need a restoration. And I also came to realize from several documentaries that actually the exact date for the independence of America was July 2nd. But because the key people in the congressmen, two of them died the same day, that is John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, they both died on July 4th. Oh, history is good. And as I challenged you yesterday, it is good to read. Nobody was arrived 241 years ago, but because there was history was there, we can look back and read it. Even people who are not American. I also noted that those congressmen, as they were there deliberating on this rat, this special land of America, the, each congressman representing every state was called. And I would hear them say, those representing Pennsylvania, he would stand up and say a word and a prayer. Those representing Maryland, they would stand up and give a word and a prayer for America. Wow. The documentary also continued to state that America was founded not on religionist but on Christianity. That's where we need the restoration. And I thank God that at such a time like this, we can share this because it is the word of the belief, it is the word of freedom of speech. I am, it is my prayer that I can get a bigger platform to share on this because I feel I, there is a lot that the Spirit of God want me to share on this. But for today, I want to encourage you be a person who can read in details. It will, it, 
not be a surprise to learn that there are people who have been born in America and raised in America, go to schools in America, and they do not know all these details. Let us be people who can decide to read. Actually, the documentary started by quoting John three, John eight thirty two, that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And you are there, maybe you are not free in your heart. I want to encourage you. You can get the freedom by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, and then you can move from there. But it is my prayer that America will receive a restoration. Father, in Jesus' name, this is my prayer. At such a time as this that you've given me the chance to share on the media, how I pray that this land will go back to its basic, to its roots, to its foundation, the foundation on the word of God. Help us, oh God. I want to thank you for those in leadership. Thank you particularly for our president because you put him at such a time as this. Donald Trump, I commit him to your hands. Thank you for the, the people he is leading with. Continue to give them the wisdom to take this land where it be wrong. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. Let us continue to share this word with as many people as you can and also pray for me. Thanks.